It is that time of year when the loud sound of mowers and lawn crews sometimes wake up our weekend mornings, but a Boulder company is cutting down on the human sweat and pull starts with a more labor friendly approach to yard care. You're in good company this week with Scythe Robotics. It's the beginning of the end for gas guzzling traditional lawnmowers. We find it sad that sort of the best way we have to take care of all our space today is really inefficient, polluting, gas powered manual machines. Jack Morrison combined his software experience of 3D mapping and frustration of cutting his own lawn to launch Scythe Robotics with a fleet of autonomous mowers carving out the future of landscape maintenance. So designed to mow large properties like this park here or housing developments, schools, office parks. How it works is a person drives the mower around the edge to outline the property. Then the machine knows how to divide that section into rows and gets to work. And so once it has that sort of boundary map memorized, it knows how to lay down stripes at whatever angle the customer wants. And each mower is equipped with eight cameras, GPS antennas, and Wi-Fi to help it along. And then if it encounters a tree in the middle of the area, it can detect that with the cameras, plan around it, do a nice circle around it, and keep going. Not to mention the machines are battery powered and whisper quiet so they don't interrupt the neighbors. But a big part of their programming is safety in case the mower encounters a person. A human, right? You don't want to just go do a circle around the human like you would a tree. You want to come to a stop, make sure they exit your area safely, and then continue on the way. Because their goal is to be in the background and minimize a labor intensive process so crews can focus on the finer details of a project. They get to take half of their crew off of the mowers and put them to work doing more creative, more interesting work uh, around the properties from edging and trimming to caring for flower beds, picking up trash. Pretty cool. They're only for commercial use now, but one day soon you could have essentially a Roomba for your lawn. That yeah. would be uh, pretty nice. It would be nice.